Hey, what's going on folks and welcome to another reputized video. Superfly starring Trevor Jackson is all about this young hustler, young drug dealer that wants to get out of the game. And along the way he deals with dirty cops and his trigger happy colleagues and a bunch of bunch of other crazy mess that, you know, just can't escape him. But he really wants to get out. He's really successful. He's got enough money to do it, but he wants to set himself on a, I guess you could say a righteous path. But, you know, the the character I thought it was I thought it was pretty interesting. This movie and all, it was pretty interesting. It was one of those drama type sort of action movies it's more dramatic than anything else it kind of tells how things go down in like areas like that where it's just not, nothing but like drug dealers and gangs and stuff like that and it, it really delves into that portion it really does the characters in it was really good i thought it did a terrific build up it, you know, by the third act, you're really on the edge of your seat. It, it's one of those that waits to the last second to where, oh, this was actually pretty worth it. Trevor Jackson, his acting was just awesome. I thought he was, you know, I think he's going to be the next Denzel Washington. You know, the, the way the way his character was in this kind of reminded me a little bit of how laid back Denzel Washington always is and about everything he does. Trevor Jackson in this movie, he kind of sent out that vibe, to me anyway. I don't know about you guys, but that's what I got. The lighting, the cinematography, the music, for what the movie was, it was it was done pretty well. I, I gotta give the, the director credit. Now, this is the first time I'm hearing of this director, but the director's name is Director X. I did some research, and I tried to find out what his actual name is, because who names their child Director X? Come on. <laughs> but seriously, I couldn't find what this guy's name was, so he's just known as purely Director X. And this is the only movie I know him doing. So I don't know if that's an alias or what. All that aside, he did a pretty good job directing this movie. This movie is... A remake of the 1972 film of the same name which I never seen personally if I ever get my hands on it I will watch it but like I said the music it fit perfectly for what it was telling you know it starts off with and I gotta admit this I am a rap fan and one of the first many rappers I've ever heard of when I first ever got into rap was Lil Jon and the East Side Boys these I boys wasn't in this, as far as I can tell, but Lil John's score, one of Lil John's score was, especially as soon as the movie starts, I thought that was pretty cool. The prose is, it was edge of your seat, it was t very tense, the story was really good, like I said, it was the, the, the this, just this young guy who has made a very successful career out of, you know, dealing drugs, yeah, that's bad. But, you know, at one at some point in this movie, he's, he just gives up and he just, wait, he doesn't give up. But he just says, you know what, I want to leave this thing forever and ever. And I want to set a better life with me and my girls. And that's basically what his attitude is. And I, I thought that was awesome. You know, I got to give him props. He, he's basically one of those that's the best of his game. But he wants to retire early. In a scenario, if I was in his position, I'd do the same thing. And the cons, there's not really many at all. There's only one, actually, that I can think of. It was slow at times. Now keep in mind, this is a drama. Take any soap opera you can ever think of. If you're a fan of soap operas, fine. You're not going to think of them as boring. But if you're like me, and like a good story with action in it, but it's got more drama than it is. That's what you're going to think of it. That, and that's what I thought. It was interesting for what it was. It was slow at times, but it made up for the construct of what the story was trying to tell. Before I wrap this video up, I got to tell you a little story about my experience, uh, my theater experience, and trying to watch this in the theater. I went to the theater, and you know, I paid for my ticket. 
I went inside. I was the only one in there. It was like the last week I was playing at my theater. The stupid projector kept on going out. And what I mean by that is this. You can hear everything that was going on, but you couldn't see anything. It kept on blacking out. It kept on doing it like every five to ten seconds. So I just gave up. I got my money back and I just decided to wait until it come out on video, which is what I did. It would have been more interesting to see it in theaters. The stupid thing wasn't messing up, but I'm not blaming anybody at the theater. It wasn't their fault. It was just faulty equipment that was playing at the particular screening I was at. Superfly gets a B plus. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more reviews and reaction videos soon. Like, subscribe, and get reputized. Peace to Rep Hands.